Yeah, g'day guys, it's Frank here again. Um, in this video I'm just going to do a bit of a rundown on the Scrapebox uh, blacklist features and um, it's a pretty cool idea. So up in the top uh, tools menu up here you'll see that there's a number of options here uh, relating to blacklists and um, this one here you can see it's got use blacklists, local and cloud. So Scrapebox has actually got two blacklists. Uh, one's local on your PC and uh, one's distributed via the um, cloud so I'll cover the uh, local blacklist first so in your Scrapebox um, download here you've got a folder called blacklist and inside that you've got a regular text file also called blacklist and um, if you open that up you'll see that there's a couple of default entries in there uh, for instance Matt Cutts blog um, and what this actually does is um, prevents the harvester from extracting any URLs on on these domains and it also uh, prevents a commenter from uh, making any comments to these uh, domains here so I mean what what this is ideal for is say your web host has got a, um, a blog or you know there's various blogs that you just absolutely do not want to uh, leave comments on well all you have to do here is open up your um, blacklist text file add the URL in here and save it and that's done there so from now on anytime you um, harvest URLs or or comment on uh, blogs any any domain that's in that blacklist um, will be excluded uh, so you won't get it in the harvester and you won't comment on it at all with the comment poster so uh, pretty easy and that's enabled by default um, if you don't want uh, anything in your blacklist you can go and delete these domains and just save it um, but you're free to delete these um, add new ones whatever you like so the choice is yours with that one and now we've got the uh, cloud blacklist so this one's pretty neat uh, what what this one is it's distributed um, by the scrapebox servers and it's built up from user submissions so as you can see here there's there's a link uh, submit entries to the cloud blacklist so if I open up that one it brings up a uh, a window here that says enter the domains one per line and please indicate the reason for your submission so um, I've spoken to the Scrapebox team and what this is intended for is if you encounter uh, any blogs that complain to your uh, web host, your proxy provider uh, any domain that reports you for uh, commenting or anything such as that you can open this up enter the domains, enter a reason such as um, reported me to my host uh, for commenting and fill that out and hit submit and that will go off to the um, Scrapebox team and they will add it to the cloud and then what happens is anyone who wants to use the cloud um, uh, blacklist uh, can download it using that link and as you'll see here it's downloading download complete tells me your list is up to date and contains two entries so there's two entries in the cloud it's only a fairly new feature and what that has done is downloaded this uh, DAT file cloud blacklist.dat and now if I have uh, this one here ticked use blacklist local and cloud well I'm using uh, both these files the two entries in in the cloud and the four entries in here so that means anytime I harvest anytime I comment uh, the four domains in the blacklist uh, sorry six domains in total in the blacklist um, will be totally excluded I can't harvest them I can't comment on them so that's the idea of the um, the blacklist so the cloud is 100% optional um, you don't have to use it if you untick that you're only using your local if you tick that you're using both uh, both cloud and local databases so I mean if you want to use the cloud uh, 
once a week click on that download it and um, keep it up to date and that's all you have to do so as I said pretty neat feature um, fairly unique uh, for this kind of tool I've never seen anything like it but um, I agree it's a good idea so I mean if you want to um, stay safe using the tool it may be a good idea for you to, for you to use the cloud and also go in and configure your local um, blacklist as well um, you know have a search have a think about what domains you you don't want to comment on um, and go in and add them to your local um, blacklist and I mean if you get complaints or anything and you've got domains that you want to um, upload to the cloud so other users don't um, encounter them uh, you can just submit your entries to the cloud uh, blacklist and that will be distributed um, via the cloud so great idea um, and that's how all that works so um, thanks everyone